Hey there, what's up? This is Steve. Today, let's go through one legal problem. It's labeled as easy. It's actually pretty straightforward, but I thought it's meaningful to go through this problem quickly. And it's legal problem 1624, largest substream between two equal characters. Let's take a look at the problem. Given the string S, written the length of the longest substring between two equal characters, excluding the, these two equal characters. If there is no such a substring, written minus one, then it gives the definition of a substring, which is a continuous sequence of characters within a string. For example, given input is A A, there is no such a substring that is not, that is not empty between the two A's. That's why it's returning zero. So the optimal substring here is an empty string because there there are indeed two equal characters, which is A, but there is no other string other than the empty string in between these two same characters. So that's why it's returning zero, not a minus one. In which case do we return minus one? In the case that there's no character that appeared twice. For example, here, C, B, Z, X, Y. In this case, we return minus one because there is no such a case that there are two same characters. Now let's take a look at a normal happy case, which is there is two same characters, and in between these two same characters, there's a non-empty string, which is A, B, C, A, for example, here, right? So there's A and A, and in between these two A characters, there's B, C. This, this is one substring, and its length is two. So that's why we return two here. If we take a look here, so there is multiple different two same characters, B, B, A, A, and C, C, right? The longest one is C and C, between C and C, that is because it has four, it, uh, it has a substring of length of four, right? All right, so this is very straightforward problem. So let's take a look at the problem API, max length between two equal characters. It just passes in the input S. What we can do is that, we can traverse through this string one character at a time. For each character that we're iterating on, we try to find if this character has another mapped character in towards the end of the array. If it doesn't, then we don't need to check the substring in between these two because there is just none of such a thing that exists. If that does exist as such a character towards the end of this string, we can take the length between these two same characters and then we can we, we can maintain another variable outside of this iteration loop we keep updating this iteration loop whenever we find a bigger one we just update that in the end after the iteration finishes we just return the max length that's the idea very straightforward now let's put the idea into the actual code so i'll initialize a variable called max length initialize to be in Actually, I can initialize to be minus one because it's possible in this case, there is no two same characters in this given string. So in that case, we'll just initialize to be minus one. And then we'll go through this. I len I plus plus. So first, let me get this character as char at I. So we get this character. Next step, we want to see last index as last index of. So in Java, for any string object, it has such an API called last string, last index of. We call this. So we get this last index. Then we want to compare if last index not equals to this i because it's not equal to i because it's very possible that there this character exists only once in this given string in that case last index is going to be equal to i so in that case we don't need to do anything but if that's not the case what we want to do is we want to update the max length just in case that the max length between these two same characters is longer right so max length and the length here is so last index minus i minus one because we want to strip off the two same characters in both ends so we want to take one off of this distance so in this distance itself last index minus i already strips off one character in one end and then we need to strip off the other one on the other end that's why we minus one here and then in the end we can just return 
max length, max length. All right, now let me hit run code. All right, this is accepted. Now let me hit submit. All right, accepted to you. Memory usage not super good. Uh, let's see. Of course, they are super. There's a variety of different. Oh, it's still twenty percent. One more time. Then I'll stop spamming it. Oh, still twenty percent. Yeah, there is a variety of different ways that you can solve this problem. This is just one way that I thought very straightforward. Hopefully, it helps you guys understand this. If you guys find this video helpful, please do me a favor and hit the like button. That's going to help me a lot tremendously and help out with the YouTube algorithm. And I really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel as as I have accumulated quite a lot of different lead code tutorials or videos to talk about different data structures or sorting algorithms or anything that is CS fundamental. So with that said, hopefully I'll just see you guys in just a few short seconds in my other videos. Thanks very much for watching.